hello guys welcome once again in the last video i have shown you how to use css with your html code and i have given you some example by which you can style your web page now in this video i will show you what is box model in css so i have a basic uh, body of html head and this style i have shown you in the last video and i deleted all the style code between this and what i have right now is i have the image tag in from which i am showing the image this i have shown you in the previous videos how to show the images and i have the div tag this is new div tag is a division of something so div tag divides your whatever inside this from the other code so this is the division tag so this you can use also for dividing one tag from other tag now i am showing the htm this html.png file and this dev paragraph for example so just save it and run the code and my code looks like this so only the image and this sentence now i want to show this uh, div tag whatever this content in in the tag I want to give some uh, padding or margin to this tag. So what is padding margin or all this? So this you can imagine as a content of your tag or this is a box. If you can imagine this content as a box, I will make it easier to imagine. So this is the content in which your div tag is there. So this is the div tag. And what you will provide is this padding. This padding gives some space around your tags or your box. And the border, this is the border. So after border comes, uh, after padding comes the border and after border comes the margin so you you can style your content like this also you can provide the padding to your content you can provide the border to your content and you can provide margin also to your content so how can you provide these things with the help of your css code i will show you so first of all in this style tag you want to provide this style to our div tag right so here you will write div which is uh, this div and dot the name of the class you can class give the name of the class as anything for example ex and give space and these curly braces and you can give the space here also right and to this div content i want to provide the margin the padding and uh, what was the other thing border yeah margin border and padding to this div content so what I will do here is inside this property class or your style class, this one the inside these brackets, just write this. So you are providing the width to your, your div tag. Width is for example, 220 pixel. You are providing padding to your div tag, which is 10 pixel. You're providing border to your div tag which is five pixel solid gray border 
so this also uh, uh, here you are seeing that you can provide the property and the value and you can provide more than one values at the same time by separating them with a space so five pixel border is solid and border is gray okay so these three values to one property you can provide at a time and margin i want to provide first i want don't want to provide any margin and after running this code we will provide some margin to the code so just save it and run the code and it doesn't look like anything is not happened i think why we see here yes because we haven't provided this class to this div so what you need to do is just make a space in this dev tag and write class is equal to double quotes and your name of the class which is ex right so give the name here and now save the program and now let's see yes it has provided the margin to your uh, not a margin margin was zero but the border to your div content the padding to your div content and now let's provide some margin also so margin for example you want to provide 10 now how it looks like let's see so i will just refresh this page and if you can see here on the left hand side there is a margin this from this border to this corner there is a margin so this is the margin we have provided let's increase this margin to 50 then it will be more visible so 50 save and run once again now you can clearly say that there is a margin to the left side right so in this way you can use a box model of CSS with your HTML code and this will be helpful for when you are designing your code and you want to provide different blocks to your web page. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.